Ephesians 6 says that in verses 12 and 13, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against the rulers, the authorities, the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. So we're fighting a, a war, we're, we're in a war, but it's a spiritual war, it's not a natural war. How, how are you gonna beat the devil up? You can't double up your fists and hit him. You can't choke him, you can't knock him down. We have to fight him spiritually. Verse 13 says, therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you don't wait until you're in trouble to put on the armor of God. You wear it all the time. And the armor that God gives us, it's spiritual armor. It's not like a suit of armor like a knight would have worn. It is truth. The Bible says, tighten the belt of truth. When you're standing your ground, tighten the belt of truth. That means hang on to the word of God like never before. When it seems like none of it's working for you, hang on to it like never before. Don't let the enemy steal it from you. I love in Romans 8 where it says sometimes we look like sheep being led to the slaughter, but right in the midst of all of these things, we are more than conquerors. You gotta remember that. When you look like a sheep being led to the slaughter, Come on, some of you are in that place right now. You tell somebody you know that's not a believer that you've got victory and they think you've lost your mind. Because to them, you look like, well, none of this is working. <laughs> Amen? And that's what the devil wants you to believe. Well, none of this is working. You're wasting your time. But that's when you tighten that belt of truth and you say, my breakthrough will come. God is faithful. It's righteousness, it's knowing who you are in Christ, the breastplate of righteousness that covers your heart. The shoes of peace, the helmet of salvation. If you're gonna be a Christian, learn to think like a Christian. <laughs> Lifting up the shield of faith. It's not good enough just to drag it around with you. When those fiery darts come, you lift it up. That's what I did this morning when the devil said, you're done, your preaching's not as good as it used to be. In the spirit, lifted up my shield of faith, liar, went right on studying, amen. And see, I tell you those things because I want you to know that no matter how long you're walking with God, the enemy is still gonna try to lie to you. It may be fewer and further between, but I, I think about that and I think, how amazing. After all these years and all the thousands and thousands of sermons that I'm preached, why in the world, in the middle of my studying, would I hear something like that? Because Satan is a liar and he always wants to make you, now hear this, doubt yourself. 